Hi guys and welcome to Satoshi Media. My name is Koya Magic and I am your host for this episode. Now we know you're getting very interested in cryptocurrency. If you're not a fan already, you've probably been hopping around videos and articles about crypto. Or maybe you are just on the brink of getting into a bit of an investment on it, but something just keeps bothering you about it. Yep. Along with its offer of boundless freedom comes a very high risk of loss brought on by the very same boundlessness. But alas, fear not, because lawmakers are, believe it or not, already on it. In fact, according to Time.com's next advisor, cryptocurrency regulation has been a frequent point of interest lately for US lawmakers and government agencies. A recent report from the Biden administration outlines proposed legislation that would bring more regulation to the cryptocurrency market. And in recent months, US Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell and Security Exchange Commission SEC Chairman Gary Gensler have both expressed concern over lack cryptocurrency regulation. Late last year, Representative Maxine Waters, the California Democrat who leads the House of Financial Services Committee, called a hearing where chief executives of six cryptocurrency companies testified about the promise and perils of cryptocurrencies. Of course, partisan different of views ensued with Democrats expressing concern about crypto's risks as Republicans emphasized innovation and said the strict regulation would drive the industry away from the United States. In an article published by the New York Times, it is clear that bipartisan differences is just one of many points which needs to be addressed. As Sam Bankman-Fried, the chief of the crypto exchange FTX, noted that his company had recently submitted a proposal to regulators suggesting a unified joint regime on crypto for agencies like the Securities and Exchange Commission and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. Alicia Haas, the chief of Coinbase's exchange in the United States and the company's chief financial officer, said that Coinbase was not necessarily calling for the creation of a new regulator, but that it sought more regulatory clarity on crypto status. The executives repeatedly criticized Gary Gensler, the chairman of the SEC, who has said that many crypto tokens fall under the agency's purview and should be registered as securities, which would require extra disclosure and compliance costs. Warren Davidson, Republican of Ohio, said crypto law should not be interpretive art and called for new clear rules. Additionally, Gensler has spoken about a need to increase regulation and help prevent other potential ransomware attacks, like the one that shut down the Colonial Pipeline in May 2021. The pipeline attack was one of a number of high-profile instances of hackers seeking Bitcoin ransoms. One possible provision under a potential new law that had been considered by lawmakers is that companies that facilitate crypto trades should be required to report tax information about those trades to the IRS. Just as brokers of traditional investments like stocks do starting in the 2024 tax season. This kind of change would mean increased tax reporting responsibility to help the IRS track crypto tax evasion. Shehan Chandra Sakura, head of tax strategy at Cointracker.io, a crypto tax software company, says that the bill is generally investor friendly because it makes crypto tax compliant easier for investors and that if the bill passes, exchanges will have to issue a 1099B tax form with a cost basis information to investors. That means that the exchange would provide a record of taxable events on the platform, like how much your Bitcoin was worth when you bought it and when you sell it back into US dollars. Today, only some exchanges report this information. The Biden administration released a report on November last year that includes specific proposed legislation that would effectively classify stablecoin issuers as banks subjecting them to similar oversight aimed at protecting consumers. Stablecoins to those new in crypto are a type of cryptocurrency pegged to an existing currency like USDT Tether. USDT Tether is tied to the price of the US dollar, so its value is constantly at $1. While legislators would still need to enact new legislation to put Biden's administration report into action, it does show US officials are paying close attention to the cryptocurrency market. Well guys, we hope all of that filled you up with more confidence in relation to cryptocurrency. However, we would like to remind you that education and vigilance is still key to protecting your assets. Thank you so much for watching and please join us again next time right here on Satoshi Media.